Hi everyone and welcome back to Fully Playable Games. So on today's video we've got another random pickups video but we have got some absolutely amazing additions. We've got a brand new console, we've got uh, pretty much games across the whole spectrum. Uh, yeah, absolutely loads of games in today's video. So I'm just going to dive straight in uh, with the first item that I don't actually have yet. <laughs> um, so I have been um, speaking with Dan and I actually picked this up. Or I actually bought this off him uh, way back. I think it's in February. Um, and yeah, before I could get around and pick it up from him, he then got in uh, the uh, massive game store bundle that we ended up going through. Um, and I picked up uh, in the video a couple of weeks ago. Um, but then this thing that I ordered from him, uh, he actually put into storage and he just hasn't had a chance to get it out yet. So I'm hoping by the time this video goes live, um, I would have been able to go around and pick this up. Um, he has said to me that he's hoping to get it out for me this week. Uh, so yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get around and pick it up. But that is a brand new console and it is a Amstrad GX4000. Now, the way that I always call this, I think I called it a... Um, it reminds me of the, the ships out of Battlestar Galactica, uh, the original series. Um, and yeah, it's always been a console that I thought just looked really cool. And I actually, say that, we, did, we have got part of this in the collection already. Uh, because I think it was last year at the Sunday Boot Fair, um, I actually managed to pick up the controller for this. Uh, so, yeah, we've actually had the controller for this for nearly a year now. Uh, but, yeah, Dan had uh, Dan had this come in. Um, it's complete in box. And, yeah, he said to me, is this something I wanted? I mean, at the time, uh, when he first offered it to me, I just couldn't afford it. I think it was after £100 for it. Um, and then a couple of weeks later, I was thinking about it, and I was like, I would like it in the collection. So I, I texted him over. I said, would you do 80 quid for it? And he was like, yeah, no problems. So I transferred him over the money, um, and yeah, it's uh, he, he's just been holding on to it. Uh, so yeah, hopefully I can go and pick it up this week, and I'll have it in time for the video going live. Um, so yeah, I paid £80 for it. Uh, looking it up online, it goes for about £150 on eBay. And yeah, just really looking forward to getting that added into the collection. Then, in addition to that, um, in another, the last time I did go to Dan's house, um, he actually gave me a envelope, and it was a very mysterious envelope, as you can see. But when I opened it up, it actually had a whole stack of um, basically store display uh, game cases. So we've got. Um, I'm going to go through them as they are on my screen. So I've got two uh, Let's Sing for Switch, two Let's Sing for PS4, two Let's Sing for PS5, and two Let's, Let's Sing for Xbox One. We've got two, day, two Last Days of Lazarus on the PS5, uh, two Do Not Open on the PS5, which is actually a game I've currently got that in my Amazon basket, and I'm hoping to pick that up soon, because it does look really good from what I've seen. Uh, we've then got uh, two Gungrave uh, Gore Day 1 Edition on the PS4, two on the PS5, and two on the Xbox One. Uh, we've then got two Evil West PS4s, uh, four Pokemon Scarlet on the Switch, and four Pokemon Violet on the Switch. So what I think I'm going to do is the I'm going to, have to keep one for myself for the collection, and I think the others I'm just going to see what sort of prices they go for online. Um, I haven't got any prices listed for them, uh, but yeah, I might have a look see if I can sell them. Uh, if not, then I'll just keep them in the collection. Um, so yeah, for those as I say, Dan just um, gave them to me. He literally just handed me over the envelope when I was there. And I was like, more, I was more than happy uh, to take them off him um, and add them into the collection. Then, moving on, we've got a couple of bits from Nikki. So, the first one that we've got is actually a t shirt. And let's get it here. So, it is a Super Mario t shirt. Um, I don't know where it's from. 
Um, so it's 2021, uh, just says Super Mario. Don't think it's from sort of like Super Mario World or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, I just thought it was cool. Um, I will admit I haven't tried it on yet. <laughs> I need to. Uh, probably need to try it on. Uh, I'll probably try it on um, and get a photo for uh, for the video. Uh, but yeah, for that um, he did. He just gave me that uh, because it was uh, it wasn't something he could sell. Uh, so he chucked it in with all the other bits that I picked up from him. Uh, and then getting into the other bits, uh, we got a whole load of games from him. So the first one that we've got is Lego Batman on the Nintendo Wii. Uh, this one, we paid a pound for that one. Goes for 3 50 at CEX and £3 on eBay. Then next up, we've got Skylanders Giants on the Nintendo Wii. Um, yeah, once again, I've never played any of the Skylanders games. Um, don't really know. Obviously, I know that they're sort of toys for life. Um, but yeah, just never played them. And the only one that I've ever really played has been sort of Disney Infinity. Um, but yeah, uh, that was there. We had, didn't have it in the collection, so I uh, was happy to add it in. Uh, that one, we paid a pound for that one. And it goes for £4 on eBay. Uh, CEX only sell it as a complete bundle. Then this one is was an absolute shock to me. So this is an Xbox 360 Classics version of Peter Jackson's King Kong, uh, the official video game, the movie. Now, I see this game all the time and normally completely ignore it. But I tell you what, I will not be anymore. Because uh, when I looked it up, uh, these are actually selling for £30 on eBay now. Uh, so, and not just in the Classic version, in the, the normal version as well. Uh, so yeah, that is going to be a big pickup for me this year at the boot fairs. Uh, paid a pound for this one. Um, as I say, at the time of getting it off him, didn't realise what this was going for. Um, it doesn't have the manual, unfortunately, so I'm going to try and track down the manual for it. Uh, but other than that, it's all good. Then next up, we've got the Lego video game, the movie. Uh, sorry, the Lego movie video game um and yeah the reason i picked this up off him i think we've already got this in the collection uh but i don't have it in the the big box um and the reason it was in a big box because it actually come with a minifigure uh but the copy that i got off nikki didn't have the minifigure figure unfortunately so i paid uh where is it where are we paid a pound for that one um and if it was complete with the minifigure um, it would go for about £30. So, obviously, I then had to go and buy the minifigure. <laughs> so, I managed to find a really good deal for this on eBay. Um, ended up paying £7 for this on eBay. It is still brand new and sealed. Um, but it normally goes for about £15. So, yeah, really happy with that. So, all in... Uh, £8 for the complete um, sort of, I don't know whether it's classed as a special edition or what but um, yeah it's a different variant and as I say I've now got the minifigure to go with it so really happy with that then next up we've got another copy of Virtua Tennis uh, this time it is 2009 uh, as I said in a recent video, I absolutely love the Virtua Tennis series, and whenever I can, I will always pick them up. Uh, this one, once again, paid a pound for that one. Uh, it goes for... Where have I got? I think I've got everything mixed up a bit. Yes. So, no, sorry. Right. I've got all my right, all my bits wrong. So, Lego goes for £30 in complete condition. Um, the minifigure normally goes for 15 King Kong goes for £15 of both CEX and eBay. That's fine. <coughs> <coughs> we'll get there in a bit. We'll get there eventually. So, Virtua Tennis paid a pound for that one. Goes for a pound at CEX and £3 on eBay. Then we've got Toy Story 3 on the Nintendo Wii. Um, I will admit I've never played the Wii version, but I have, um, I've got and played the PS3 version. 
and that is a rock hard game it really is um so yeah i'll be interested to see if this is the the same sort of game um pound for that one five pounds of both cex and ebay then we've got an original xbox game so we've got the limited edition of mech assault 2 lone wolf uh, yeah, I think the Mech Assault games are really, really good. From what I've seen, don't think I've ever really played them. I know I've got one of the Mech Assault games uh, on the original Xbox. I might have the first one. Um, so yeah, really chuffed to get that. Um, and yeah, what I would, I would always, I, would, I have got it on my list. And I'd love to get. I think it's the Mech Assault Free uh, controller um, set up and that for. I think it's the 360. Uh, I'd love to get that, but it's just so expensive. Um, and plus, at the moment, I've um, got very little room, so I don't know where I'd put it either. Um, so for Mech Assault, paid a pound for that one. £2.50 at CEX, £10 on eBay. Then we've got Star Wars The Clone Wars Republic Heroes on the 360. Um, I'll be honest, I'm a big Star Wars fan, but I've never really followed the Clone Wars uh, cartoon series. Uh, I think I've got a couple of the series on DVD. Um, but yeah, just never never sat down and watched them. Uh, I was always very much the very much into the live action uh, films. Um, but yeah, uh, paid a pound for that one. Six pounds at CEX, eight pounds on eBay. Then we've got Lego Jurassic World. Uh, I think we've pretty much got this across most platforms now. Um, I know I've got it on the Wii. Uh, don't know. Yeah, got it on the PS4. I think we've got it on the Xbox One as well. So yeah, it was it was in the pile. So yeah, I just thought I'd grab it. Uh, pound for that one, five pounds on eBay, seven pounds. Uh, sorry, five pounds at CEX, seven pounds on eBay. Then Nikki threw in a couple of bits as well for me. So we've got gaming in pro gaming in progress light up sign. Um, yeah, I've got a couple of signs now. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't know where I'm going to put this one. Uh, um, I might look to add it to the uh, the games room door, uh, see if I can get it on there. But yeah, we've got that. Uh, looking it up online, uh, it goes for about £10. Uh, and yeah, Nicky just threw it in for me. Uh, then he also threw this in for me. I haven't actually looked it up and got a price yet, um, but it is a brand new with tags, uh, Bulbasaur uh, plush. So that will probably go downstairs in uh, Pokemon Corner now. I've I've taken it over and renamed it. <laughs> um, and then the last two games that I got of him were a couple of PS4 games because, yeah, I just can't stop buying PS4 games at the moment. <laughs> uh, so the first one that we've got is Little Big Planet 3, um, which is I'm really happy to have because that now means I've got um, all three of the uh, the games. I think there was only three released. Uh, so I've got uh, 1 and 2 on the PS3, and then Little Big Planet 3 on the PS4. Um, yeah, the Little Big Planet games, they are... I enjoy them, they are what they are. Um, so yeah, I play through them whenever I can. Uh, paid £2.50 for that one. Goes for £12 at CEX and £7 on eBay. And the other one that I picked up was Marvel Spider-Man. Uh, didn't realise at the time that I have already got it in the collection. Um, so what I might do is I might um, trade this in uh, next time we go to CEX. Uh, so pay two pounds for that, two fifty for that. Sorry, goes for fifteen pounds on CEX and eBay. So yeah, it probably will uh, work out. Uh, I'll get more money by trading it in for a voucher than selling it on eBay. Um, and yeah, that is all the bits that I picked up from Nikki. So now we dive into my. Um, pickups from here there and everywhere really uh, it's definitely going to be a nice little mixture today so the first one that we've got is a um, new game and this is burning rubber and yeah you will probably not have any idea what this car is for because this is actually going to be for the Amstrad uh, GX4000 so yeah I wanted to get a game that once uh, I got the console in hand I could sort of test it out play a game on it um, so yeah, I've had this sitting here for probably since February. Um, so yeah, once I get the console in hand, um, I'll get this in, get it uh, testing the console, and yeah, at least we'll have a game to play on it. So hopefully 
by the time you're seeing the video, you'll see footage of the game uh, because I would have ha had the console to capture the footage. Uh, paid £18 and 29p for that. Normally it goes, and that was an eBay purchase, normally it goes for about £25 cart only. So yeah, really chuffed I was able to get that slightly cheaper. Uh, then, right, so we've actually got a DS game. Uh, but this is a very different type of DS game. Because first off, it's a Japanese DS game. And secondly, it is a keyboard-based DS game. So this is um, Battle and Get Pokemon Typing on the Nintendo DS. Um, it is complete. It does come with the keyboard, the game, everything's in there. Um, and yeah, it's it's something different. Uh, I saw it and I just I had to pick it up. It's not one I mean probably not probably one I won't I will ever play because um, I am assuming that most of it's in Japanese. Uh, actually, no, it looks like it is in English. It's it's an, an English keyboard. So yeah, I might have a go see if I can get it uh, see if I can play it. Um, but yeah, ended up paying uh, £23 and 48p for that. Um, yeah, I think that was just a buy it now as well. Uh, looking it up online, um, it normally goes for £50 for the power release at CEX. And normally goes for about £70 on eBay. So got it a really, really good deal for, got, for this uh, complete inbox. Then, next up. Uh, so this was a game, uh, I can't remember what happened with this, but it just literally come up in my feed. Um, and I ended up picking it up. So this is uh, the Catfight. Uh, this is a PS2 uh, Japanese game. And this is actually part of the Simple 2000 series. So for those of you who don't know, uh, in Japan they released a collection of games for the PS2. Um, and the idea is they're called Simple 2000. Uh, the reason for that is that they cost 2,000 yen. Um, I think from what I am aware, there are 122 games in the uh, Simple 2000 series. Uh, you also had the same, similar sort of thing on the PS1. Uh, that was actually the Simple uh, 1500. Uh, but yeah, uh, I saw this pop up. And for, do you know what? It looks interesting. It's a one-on-one -on -one fighting game. And I have to say, it was hilarious playing it. It really was. Because when you're playing it, it essentially is a cat fight. You're sort of clawing at uh, the, the other, your opponent's face and everything like that. It is just, it, yeah, it, is, it was so funny to play. Uh, yeah, really enjoyed playing it. Um, so I ended up picking that one up for... £23 and 41p. Obviously, being a Japanese game, it's not available at CEX, but normally it sells for about £55 on eBay. So, yeah, really happy to have that one in the collection. But, unfortunately, I only have a standard PAL PS2. So, yeah, it was very, very difficult to play it. Um, I really had to go above and beyond to uh, actually go on eBay and buy a Japanese PS2. <laughs> um, so yeah, I to be quite honest, I've been meaning to get a um, an NTSC uh, PS2 for a while. Um, I am going to carry on looking because I want to get hold of a US one as well. Um, I will say this one is not in great condition. The the top cover is all cracked and it is really busted up so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take one of uh, the covers off of my one of my parts ps2s swap it onto here so that it is in good condition uh, the only thing i did realize when i just before i started filming is is that i'm actually going to have to remove the japanese warranty seal uh, to do that but yeah it is what it is uh, i just want i want the console to look as good as it can um, and if it means that we have to break that seal, uh, so be it. So, for this one, uh, because of the condition, I actually got it uh, for a pretty decent price, actually. Uh, paid £30 for it. Uh, and it actually come with the power lead and the AV cable as well. 
Uh, so yeah, really, really happy to have that in the collection. As I say, the first of uh, first Japanese PlayStation. I think it's the first Japanese Sony console I've got as well. Um, so yeah, really happy with that. As I say, I do want to try and get a US one uh, because. Uh, no, I don't think I have got any US PS2 games. I think I've always avoided them. Um, but obviously we do have, as you say, tell a lie, we have got a Japanese PS... Uh, we have got a Japanese Sony console because we've got the PSX. Um, obviously I do need to do some work on that to get that up and running. Uh, but, yeah, obviously that will be a console that we can use as well uh, once I get it fixed. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, with the uh, Japanese PS2s, they normally sell for about £70. Obviously that is in sort of decent condition, the console itself. So once I do that cover swap, uh, we should be good to go on that one. Uh, right, what have we got next? So next up, uh, we have got a box. Uh, so, but not a box you're expecting because this is a Game Boy box. So this is box and manual for Alien 3 on the Game Boy. And if I remember rightly, we managed to get the Alien 3 cart off Dan in the uh, the massive game uh, pickup that we've done uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so I think when the cart only sells for about 20, 25, 30 pounds, um, but once you put it with the box, it massively increases the value, and I mean massively. So um, I paid £33.29 and p for the box and manual. So yeah, that might seem extreme, but um, the complete game is now worth £150. So yeah, really, really happy to have that. Um, that was the, the big thing. When I was looking up the price of the original cart, um, I saw a couple of listings for uh, complete inbox and I was seeing 150 pounds. I was like, that is mental. So I had a bit had a, a quick look, little look around, managed to find this listing uh, and yeah, sort of grabbed it as quickly as I could. Um, if I remember rightly, yeah, that was an offer. So um, yeah, I was really, I think I'd, I sent over a cheeky offer of like 30 quid. I think mean, originally had it priced up at like 40 or 50 quid. Uh, sent over a cheeky offer of sort of 30 quid um, and yeah he accepted I was absolutely over the moon so really happy to have that um, right next up uh, right this is something that um, Dan actually had when I was the, uh, when I was going through um, all of the stuff that he had and for some reason I didn't pick it up I left it and then went back a couple of days later to pick up some extra bits uh, so when I picked up all of the um, the SNES and the N64 games that I had in a video a few weeks ago uh, and the big NES uh, storage box um, and I asked him sort of did he still have this and he's like no it literally sold uh, the day after you were here so yeah it was a, a bit, I was a bit miffed um, but I ended up jumping on eBay managed to find it um, yeah, I think I sort of went backwards and forwards with this seller with offers um, and he, he didn't really want to budge. So, yeah, I ended up just paying uh, what he was asking. And that is a Game Boy carry case. But the reason that I got this, because this is actually the same design as the Mega Drive backpack that we got a couple of months ago. Uh, so, yeah, I wanted to get this, have it sort of matching in with that backpack. Um, paid £19 for it. Um, it normally goes for about £22 on eBay. So, yeah, a bit gutted that I didn't think to get it off Dan because I probably got it a lot cheaper than that. But even still, I have now got one. Um, and as I say, that will go uh, with the Mega Drive backpack that we've got as well. Then, next up, we have got another Game Boy box. And this time, it is F1 Race. So this is a game that we actually picked up on our first trip to Swanley Boot Fair. And I've got the car up just here. So this is now going to go in here. Um, it is missing the, the main insert in it, but it does have the multi-tap. It has the, the game manual. I'm not too sure whether it's got the, the multi-tap manual. Uh, let me just have a quick look. I think it does. 
yes does have the multi-tap manual as well so yeah apart from the the actual insert um it is complete and uh, see so there's the the floor player adapter as well um and yeah uh, i saw this um and just decided to to grab it as i say the the ability to put another game uh in the box uh was what i was aiming for uh so for the box i paid 13 pounds for that uh normally the the box and the multi-tap would run about 30 pounds so yeah i got a really good price on that um and then now bundled with the game uh the value of that's probably about 45 pounds so yeah really happy with that one uh then next up we've got another game boy box and i will say this is going to be the last game boy box of the video <laughs> and that is wwf superstars 2 so the reason i got this one uh, once again it is box and manual uh so all we need to do is add the game and the game we have got as well because this is one that we picked up uh if i remember right this was picked up from chelmsford so yeah once again that is now a complete inbox game uh looking it up online uh the comp uh, running complete inbox goes for about 75 pounds um and i haven't actually got any comparisons for the box only uh because i think the one that i got was the only one that's been listed in quite a while so i paid 33 pounds and 50p for that so and i think i paid about a pound uh for the actual cart so first let's say 35 pounds uh i'm into uh that game uh still a lot cheaper than the complete inbox price so yeah really happy with that then next up we have we've actually got something different um and we've actually got a soundtrack and that is the last of us soundtrack so this was obviously i've recently gone through after far too long um and actually finally finished the last of us um, and the thing is, I've always found The Last of Us music to be absolutely superb. So, yeah, I wanted to pick up a copy of the soundtrack. Uh, managed to get a brand new and sealed version. I think actually it's come from eBay, but I think it was a Music Magpie pickup. Um, but yeah, so brand new, paid uh, £6.76p for it. On average, it goes for about £7.00 so yeah not a massive saving but still really glad to have that in the collection uh right next up we have got a pickup from uh strictly limited so as you know if you've been watching the channel recently i have been picking up games left right and center from places like strictly limited play asia um limited run um and yeah whenever i see a game that looks interesting i will tend to pick it up so this time we have got rolling gunner and overpower um i'll be honest i had actually completely forgot to capture footage for this um it is still sealed so yeah i'm gonna have to um jump on and capture the footage for this after the video uh but yeah looking at it the reason that i got it was because it was a um a shmup and i'm really trying to add to my collection some smuck some smucks uh because i haven't really got too many so yeah that was the big reason for picking this up um what did i pay paid 26 pounds and 77p for it uh looking it up on ebay uh they're already selling for about 50 pounds so yeah happy to have that one then next up we've got a couple more of the simple 2000 games so as i said earlier on i am going to try and get a full set of these so there's about 122 to get um and yeah i'm going to look to try and get the full set um it's not going to be something i'll get instantly but yeah definitely ones that i will try and pick up as soon as i can so the first one that we've got is um omi chambara um now this is a game i've seen various different iterations of this um so yeah saw this on ebay uh, decided to just jump in and grab it and i have to admit i really enjoyed playing it it is a sort of hack and slash uh, i think it's zombies isn't it uh and yeah really really enjoyed playing that uh that one paid 13 pounds and 49p for it normally goes for about 25 pounds on ebay so yeah that was a good addition 
And then the next one that we got, so I saw this and it the, the, the cover art captured my interest straight off the bat. And then when I was looking around, um, I actually saw that it was, um, it could be quite an expensive game. Uh, I mean, when I first saw it, uh, the first listing I saw for it was selling for like a hundred pound they were asking for it. Um, I'll admit I paid nowhere near that. Um, and that is, uh, I'm going to read it off the screen. Um, the overwhelming hell is what it translates to. And I think mean, it's the, uh, the Chararu Jikaru, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, but yeah, it translates to the overwhelming hell. And basically what this is, is this is a, um, so it's a, a fixed camera, uh, basically sort of Resident Evil style, uh, fixed camera uh, with a sort of steel background. And essentially you are a girl walking through, um, I, obviously because it's, the story's in Japanese, I don't know the ins and outs of the story. But from what I can gauge, you're a girl, you're a school girl trying to get home and you're walking through these different parts um, and you you basically keep getting attacked by different bugs and what you what basically happens is, is if you don't fend off the bugs uh, by sort of hitting them off and things like that you uh, basically it's it's like a sort of scare meter so your fear gets the better of you and you then die uh, so from what I've played of it so far it is it's really something really different um and yeah it was it's de definitely something i'm going to spend a bit more time playing as i say it would i would have loved to have been able to find a um an english translation of this um but looking it up online they just don't exist yet uh, hopefully in the future someone will uh, what i like about this as well is that it's still got all of the original uh, Japanese store labels on. So I think actually looking at the labels, these this might have been bought from Book Off. Um, and looking at it, they paid uh, 369 yen, I think. Yeah, I think that's what they paid. Uh, obviously, I paid a damn sight more than that. Uh, so I paid 43 pounds and 64p. Um, once I looked into it a bit more, the average sort of selling price of this is about £60. Um, but yeah, um, once again, it's in really good condition. Uh, the big thing that I was looking for the, with this um, and all of the uh, Simple 2000 games was that they come with the manuals. Uh, so yeah, really happy to have that one in. And as I say, um, they are games that I am... I'm going to try and get as much of the set as I can. So I'm um, three down, 119 to go. <laughs> okay, so the next one that I got is actually a Xbox One. Uh, not an Xbox One, an Xbox 360 uh, Special Edition. And the reason I picked this up was for two reasons, actually. So first off, I didn't even know that it existed until I found it. Um, and basically what I was trying to do is I was actually trying to... I was looking up the price for the base game uh, because I had a couple of doubles and I thought, you know what, I might just chuck one on eBay. Um, but yeah, I come across this. The, the base game wasn't worth selling. But yeah, that is Dishonored, the special edition. Now, the other big reason why I picked up this one in particular was, uh, so this special edition actually come with a tarot pack. Uh, so it's a pack of tarot cards. Um, but this one didn't come with them. But then what I realised is when I was actually looking at it, I've actually already had the tarot pack. Um, I actually picked these, uh, picked the tarot pack up from the Sunday boot fair uh, towards the end of last year. Um, I think it was in a video uh, a few weeks ago. What I'll do is I'll stick a video, I'll stick a link um, up in the corner to that. Um, so yeah, I already had the tarot cards. They're brand new and sealed. Um, so I thought, you know what? I'm going to grab this. It was it was a really good price. Uh, because it didn't have the cards and I thought well I'll just add the cards in so I ended up paying uh, £5.27 for it um, looking at up in a complete condition um, it normally sells for about £15 so yeah definitely a really good deal I think overall I probably paid about a pound for the tarot cards um, sort of £5.27 so let's say six quid 
um, for a 15 pound game. Yeah, not bad at all. Then next up, we've got a. Um, it's actually it is actually another Nintendo box, <laughs> um, and that is WWF Warzone on the N64. So the reason that I picked this up was it come up in my eBay feed. Now I will admit the box itself is not in the best of conditions, uh, but the reason that I picked it up was because we actually got the cartridge in the uh, the big pickup that we done from Dan. So I was looking about, saw the box, um, it was actually a really good price, so I was like, yeah, do you know what, I'm going to grab it. Ended up paying £6.18p for it. Um, looking it up online, complete, it goes for £25 at CEX. Um, no, sorry, tell a lie, I've got this round the wrong way. I bought the car off eBay because we already had the box and the manual from Dan. So, yeah, that's what we've done. I'm looking here and I'm seeing CEX prices. I'm like, CEX don't sell boxed only. But no, I picked up the cart from eBay to get this complete. So I paid £6.18 for the cart. Uh, the cart only goes for £3 at CEX and normally goes for about £7.50 on eBay. But now that it's complete, it goes for £25 at CEX and £15 on eBay. So, yeah, really happy with that. Another complete inbox N64 game to go onto the shelf. Then we've got three more games left. Uh, we've got a PS2 game, and that is Ghost Hunter. So, yeah, I don't know where I saw this. I don't know if this was something that popped up in eBay or if I'd seen someone else pick it up. Um, but I have to admit, this was a superb game. Uh, really, really enjoyed it. You basically play a detective um, and you're sort of investigating this area. I can't remember why you're investigating it, um, but you essentially get um, uh, you get exposed to this machine, which then allows you to see the, the dead roaming around. Uh, I think you're in like a mansion. And yeah, absolutely brilliant. Thoroughly enjoyed it. As I've only played about... 20 minutes, half an hour of it, but definitely a game that I'm going to go back to and spend a bit more time on. Uh, paid £4.94 for that. Goes for £4 at CEX and £8.50 on eBay. And then the last two games we've got are two games that I picked up from Amazon. Uh, they're both uh, PS4 Smups. Smucks, so, uh, however you say it. <laughs> uh, so the first one that we've got is Darius Blast. Uh, EX Plus. Um, I have to say, I was so disappointed with this. This was a horrible game to play. Uh, essentially, what this is is it is a um, a direct port of the arcade game. And when I say a direct port, it literally just like lifted and shifted from the arcade game onto a disc. The whole time that you're playing it. It flashes up. I can't remember if it's at the um, top or the bottom of the screen. It just keeps flashing up. Free play, free play, all the time that you're playing. And you can't turn it off anywhere. Um, and then when you actually finish the, when you get game over or whatever, uh, you then get a sort of screen telling you to mind your head as you stand up from the arcade machine. It is an absolutely atrociously done port. Really, really disappointed with it. Um, yeah, as I say, it just it just felt lazy to me. Um, so yeah, bit disappointed with that. Um, but uh, so sorry for Darius. We paid seventeen ninety nine off Amazon. Um, it goes for ten pounds on CEX and twenty two pounds on eBay in new condition. But then I will uh, I will say the the next game completely made up for it um, this is a game i've been wanting to pick up now for a couple of months um, and i am just over the moon i'm actually going to be buying another edition of this and that is uh andros junos 2 uh this just oh this is superb it really is it's uh, a retro looking um smup and yeah it is just 
absolutely brilliant. I have to say the first thing that I love about it is the soundtrack. The soundtrack is absolutely superb and it's actually a soundtrack that I've been exposed to quite a bit recently because um, one of the YouTube channels that I watch all the time at the moment is Retro Getro. Get, retro Getro. Retro Ghetto. Um, and yeah, it, uh, he actually uses one of the songs of this uh, in his videos and I absolutely love it. It is a, an amazing track and yeah, I for ages was really was wondering where the track was from uh, and then yeah, when I played this and that track come on, I was like, ah! <laughs> so yeah, um, an absolutely amazing game. The love the picture art style, the controls are really easy to get along with and yeah, just an all down amazing game. And as I did say, I'm going to buy another edition of this because um, I do want the soundtrack on CD. Um, so that actually there's actually a special edition version that you can get uh, where that comes with it. So I'm hoping, hopefully by the end of the month, I'll be able to sort of jump in and pick that up. Um, but yeah, for that, we paid £20 and 27p off Amazon. Goes for £22 at CEX and £30 on eBay. So we definitely got a really, really good price there. And that is everything that we picked up today. So yeah, as I say, a real good mix of games. Uh, some absolutely... Some, some pickups that I'm lo I'm, I love capturing the footage for. Um, and yeah, just can't wait to get back into them. Uh, so before we wrap up, let's quickly run through the totals. So our total spend today was £440.28. Um, if we could get every, everything that we could get from CEX, which I will admit wasn't a lot, uh, we would have paid £179. And then if we'd picked up everything from eBay, uh, we would be looking at £839. So yeah, a, a real good saving, nearly sort of half the price. Um, so yeah, I am really looking forward to getting back into playing some of these games. But with that said, that is going to wrap up today's video. But before you head off, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're not already, smash that subscribe button and ring the bell to be kept up to date when I upload new videos. And yeah, with that said, thank you so, so much for watching today. Really hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.